video we're going to look at conditional probability. Conditional probability is when the probability of an event is dependent on the outcome of a previous event. So let's have a look at a typical scenario. So a typical scenario would be if you had a bag like this and we had five apples and five lemons and you were to take two atoms out of the bag at random. Because what would happen is as you take the first piece of fruit out of the bag then the probabilities are going to change for the second piece. So let's have a look at this question. We've been asked to find the probability of two lemons. So it's the probability of a lemon and a lemon. So the probability of the first item being a lemon would be 5 out of 10. That's straightforward. Now, the next one being a lemon. Well, if we've taken a lemon out of the bag, that's going to leave nine items of fruit inside the bag. It would be five apples and only four lemons because we've taken one out. So the probability of the next one being a lemon is going to be four out of nine because there's only nine items in the bag and there's only four lemons. So whenever we multiply those two together, they find the probability of a lemon and a lemon. Five times four is equal to 20 and 10 times 9 is equal to 90, and cancel that down, will give you 2 ninths. So the probability of a lemon and a lemon would be 2 ninths. And you notice that the second uh, outcome is dependent on the first outcome. The probability of the second um, outcome is dependent on what happens in the first event. So for instance, if you took a lemon out, the probability of the, first, uh, the second one being a lemon is going to be 4 out of 9. However, if you took an apple out, the probability of a lemon would be 5 out of 9. So notice these the second probability is dependent on the first event and what happens there. So that means that this is a conditional probability type question. So look out for the words where it says not replaced, or whenever two atoms are uh, not replaced, or if it just says that two atoms are removed. That means it's going to be a conditional probability. Let's have a look at the typical exam question. So it says a bag contains five red and f uh, three blue balls. So here you've got them. You've got uh, red, 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 blue, blue, blue. And it says two balls are taken out and not replaced. So in other words, we're not going to put it back in again, so it will be conditional probability. It says, what's the probability that at least one of them is red? So we now need to consider what the possible outcomes are that would work for us. So we're going to take two out and at least, not, uh, at least one red. So it's going to be the probability of red, 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 because that would have two reds, so that would be at least one. We could also have uh, red, blue, because that would have one red. And we could also have the probability of blue-red. All three of these events, or outcomes, have um, at least one red. The only other possible outcome would be blue-blue, but that wouldn't work. So, let's work out these probabilities. So, the first one, red-red. So the probability of the first uh, ball taken out of the bag being red is 5 out of 8, or 5 eighths. So 5 eighths. And then we're going to times that by, well, if we take out one of the red balls, that's then going to, going to leave 7 balls in the bag. And then only four of them are going to be red. So it's going to be times by four out of seven, or four sevens. So we times those two together. Five times four is equal to 20. And eight times seven is equal to 56. I'll cancel down these probabilities at the end. So then the next one. Well, the next one's equal to a red-blue. So the first one being red is five out of eight. So five out of eight. So five out of eight times. Now, if we take out the red one first, then probably the next one being blue will be one, two, three out of seven, so times three sevenths. And whenever we times those together, we'll get, or whenever we times them together, we're gonna to get 15, 56. And finally, the final one then is equal to, is the probability of blue-red. So to find blue-red, we're gonna do the first item in blue is three eighths, times by the second one being red. Now consider we've taken out the blue first this time. So the second one being red would be one, two, three, four, five, out of 7 times times 5 sevenths, and if we multiply those together again we're going to get 15 out of 56. And then whenever we add these together, 20 56 plus 15 56 plus 15 56, if we add them together, then that would give us 20, uh, 35, 50, 56. And we could cancel that down if we wanted to, and then that would be the probability, so let's see, 25, 20 ifs. And that's a simplified fully. So the probability of getting at least one red ball out of this bag whenever you choose two at random and not replace them would be 25 out of 28 or, 25, or 25 28. So in this exam question, a bag of sweets contains five toffees, three chocolates and two mints. Emmy and Sophie pick one sweet each at random. What is the probability they pick sweets of the same kind? So in other words, that's going to be, well, if it's sweets of the same kind, well that's going to be the probability of a toffee toffee, the probability of a chocolate chocolate, 
and chocolate and a chocolate and the probability of a mint and a mint mint and a mint so let's work out those probabilities so all together there's 10 sweets all together and the first one being toffee is going to be 5 out of 10 now if we take out a toffee that's only going to leave 9 sweets and there'll be 4 toffees so it's going to be times by 4 ninths whenever we times those together it's going to be 20 ninetieths next chocolate chocolate so the first one being a chocolate is 3 tenths times that by well if we take out a chocolate that's going to again leave 9 sweets and 2 of them would be chocolate so it's going to be 2 ninths we times those two together so we're going to get 6 ninetieths and finally mint mint well it's going to be equal to 2 tenths because it's going to be 2 out of 10 for the first one being mint times by and if you take a mint out that's going to leave 9 sweets again and only 1 mint and then we times those together and we get 2 ninetieths so we just add those two together or those three properties because it's going to be this option or this option or this option and using the or rule if you add them together then that will give you the overall probability so 20 plus 6 plus 2 is 28 ninetieths and then you just cancel that down so they're going to be divisible by 2 so you're going to get 14 45ths okay and then that's your probability so the probability of them choosing two sweets of the same kind would be 14 45ths And a final exam question is on the type of people watching a film at the cinema. So we have got 21 adult males, we've got 14 adult females, we've got 10 boys, and we've got 5 girls. So we just add them up to see how many we've got all together. So we're going to have, uh, all together we're going to have 35 adults and 15 children. So that's 50 people all together at the cinema. It says two of these people are chosen at random to receive three cinema tickets. It says calculate the probability that the two people chosen at random are adults of the same gender. So in other words, that's going to be the probability of an adult male, adult male, so an adult male and an adult male, or the probability of an adult female and an adult female, because it has to be adults of the same gender, so adult male, adult male, or adult female and an adult female. So let's work out what those probabilities would be. So the first one being an adult male. So that would be 21 out of 50. So that'd be 21 fiftieths. And we're going to times that by, well, if one of those is taken out, that's only going to leave 20 males out of the 49 people. So times 20 out of 49. So we'll times those two together. So we get 21 out of 50 times 20 out of 49. And we get that equal to 6 35ths. Next, the probability of an adult female and an adult female. So an adult female is 14 out of 50. And then the next one being adult female, if one of those is taken out of the group, that's going to leave 13 adult females. And altogether, there'll be 49 people. So we'll times those two together. We get that equal to 13 175ths. So the probability of getting an adult male and an adult male is 6 35ths, and the probability of getting an adult female and an adult female is 13 175ths. So what we need to do then is because it's either this option or this option, we then just need to add those two together, and then that will give us the probability of getting two adults of the same gender. So we just add that together, and we get the probability. 43 175ths. So the probability of choosing two adults of the same gender is equal to 43 175ths.